All right, guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but we're gonna try to fix that problem. That's the run that I got. I'm gonna try to take that out and see it through here. Maybe a little bit up in there. I may grab another light. But uh, I had an idea and I'm gonna take you along with it. If it works out, you learn something. If it doesn't work out, then you learn something. So, um, you know I'm a big fan of these Sharpies. I know I've seen guys use uh, glazing putty and go over these, and then they'll, they'll cut it down, and basically, I'm gonna use this to see, basically show me where my, my run is as I take it out. We're gonna try it, see if it works. Also, I've got a few nibs in here too. I'm gonna do the same thing to those nibs, that way, once I'm done sanding them, hit once my Sharpie mark is gone, then I'll know my nib is gone, or at least that's, that's the idea. Uh, I've never tried this before, just something I was thinking about. Uh, I always bend this, and you can see I cut the edge of the razor blade off just a little bit on the corners. That way it doesn't dig in out here. Uh, really, what I'm wanting to do is just use this little area in here. And I've showed this before on some of my videos, but you know, a lot of I got a lot of new subscribers. So uh, if you've never seen me take a run out, you're getting ready to. So uh, we'll try this sharpie thing here. Like I said, I don't know if it'll work or not. May not. Uh, if it doesn't. You know, I'm really not out anything, so. I'm come out here a little farther. So, I may have a little bit of something right in there. I may just be able to sand that down a little bit and get, get rid of that, but this is actually pretty pretty good run, so. Let that dry for a second, I'll start scraping on that. See how it goes. Got a little girl in the shop today, so you can hear the background. They've got cartoons going. Uh, so she's over there watching cartoons. Maybe that'll show up better. that with a thousand grit paper. Let's see what we got. Actually fifteen hundred grit what I meant. Like a serious ass cartoon she's watching. A lot of drama going on. Alright, so after this I'll go over with 2000 and I'll go over with uh, 25. And then, uh, then we'll polish the rest of that out. Looks like, uh, looks 
Looks like we got most of that. We may have to run over it again with the Sharpie. Let's take one of these nibs out, see how that works out. One here. Alright, this is 2,000 grit. This can go over this whole area here. Take those 1500 grit scratches out. Stay off those edges as much as possible because you will burn through that. So you're pretty quick. Alright, I'll go back over 2500. Also 2500 will uh, show you your nibs too, so if you're not sure, it's hard to see or whatever, you can go lightly over your, your panel. I'm not trying to teach, I guess I am, I don't know, whatever, it is what it is. I'm a rookie, so learn from me, learn from my mistakes, I guess you could say. So lightly go over your panel, 2500. And then dry it. Take your squeegee. Run your squeegee over it. And it should show you a little shiny spot. Which is basically right there. I don't know if that'll show or not. You can probably see that. See how that showed that little shiny shiny spot there? That's how that's how I find a, a lot of my my nibs. And then you go over it with uh, 1500, and then you go back over that 2000 or 2500, and then that's when you go into your 3000. If you're doing your Trizac, you can do that. Uh, I'll probably go 2500 and just start buffing on this one. I'm, I'm not going full. Well, I got 3000, but I'm not going full Trizac on all this to like 5000 or whatever. So, yeah, that's basically how you take the run out and uh, I have a little bit more work there to do I don't it's hard to tell feels like it's gone there might be a little bit of a little bit of something but I'm not gonna go crazy because you can burn through there, break through this clear, clear and then you're going to be repainting and you don't want to do that for sure. So. Alright. Well, hope that helps somebody. I don't know, you know if you like it. You like it if you don't. If you don't. You think it sucks? Tell me you think it sucks. I mean, anybody besides Matt, because I know Matt's going to say, I think it sucks. I know he's going to say that. Because that's what he does. Alright, there we go. We'll move on. See ya. Alright, so you can see a lot of these areas where it's dull looking. I went over that with 1500 D nibbing this. I was going to tell you what I did. I actually took my marker and went over every nib I could find, and it really helps me to where I don't miss any 
because I just go real slow and go through and make sure and just mark all of them. But I got to noticing as I was, and you can see here all the little black dots, as I got to, to scrubbing on them, I could tell that the actual marker was really kind of working as a guide coat, which is kind of cool, but especially on some of the especially on some of the tougher ones or some of the worse ones, I guess you could say. You get some that uh, are pretty pretty good ones, and uh, I don't know if these will be one or not, but I'll show you what I'm talking about here real quick. As I go over this, right here, it's, it's showing me that there's still some, some spots there. Still, still a little bit. Alright, so that like is a little piece of something underneath the clear coat. So that's just going to end up staying there forever. see here like I said it just shows me exactly where my little spots are or I'm not gonna go back and say I'd let you know miss one here or there uh, this one here looks like a pretty good one I usually try to go in several different directions just like when you're sanding anything else um, whether that's necessary or not I don't know so like right there, you can still see, maybe if that shows, let me hold this real still for a second. It'll show the little shiny spots, still little high spots there. I don't know exactly what that thing wants to focus on. Maybe it shows. Anyway, just keep going until, until you get the little shiny spots gone. Like that. So, I see there's a little low spot in there probably. And if it's too low, you don't want to keep digging because you will dig a hole. Like that right there, I'll probably just leave that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. And of course I can clean that out, the little black mark with uh, isopropyl alcohol or the buffer will probably grab it but anyway but yeah you can see I've got quite a few of these little uh, deals to go so I'm just gonna keep keep on keeping on and this is probably what I'll do most of the afternoon then I'll get the buffing on it don't know if I'll finish today but I thought I'd take you along for this you know guys like to pick up little little stuff and I had an idea and I thought well I'll try it and see if it works good if it doesn't fine too but usually when you run over you see how dull that is when you run over 2500 that'll really show any shiny spots or dirt spots or whatever so you may not want to you know do that but uh still sometimes i'll miss them you know and i'll get the polish and then find one and i'm like dadgummit now i gotta go back over get sandpaper do the whole you know that so that there might save you uh, a little bit of uh because you can see them clear as day sticking out everywhere so you know if it's still black you didn't get it so all right guys see you well there it is cut and buff denib dish <laughs> Man, i've been working on this for seven hours seven hours So that's what you get. Got the dry spray out. It's pretty decent. Haven't got this fender yet. I need to denib it still, but oh, man. A lot of work. A lot of work. Well there you go. She's about ready to send home. Yeah, I still haven't uh, touched the bumpers either. So.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, I'll talk to you next time.